I'm all about trying to make money, not spend money. If you are going on whatnot and you feel that adrenaline rush, just before you even open the app, tell yourself, okay, if I'm buying something today, first, are you going to buy something, yes or no? And be firm on that answer. And then if you're saying yes, give yourself a budget and say, okay, I'm not bidding over this. And just don't break that budget. There will be other opportunities. There will be other good buys. And that's kind of the mindset I have to enter whatnot with. Welcome back to Inside the Box. Today's video is going to be a Whatnot haul. These are some items that I recently purchased from the Whatnot app. If you guys are not familiar with Whatnot yet, it's a newer app that does live auctions. This is a great place to source and I'm hearing it's an excellent place to sell as well. I've not jumped on the selling bit yet of Whatnot, but I hope to do that in the future. When I first heard about Whatnot, I kind of watched other YouTube videos like this to get an idea of the purchasing process to see if this was a place I wanted to source from or spend my time on. And I wanted to share with you what I got off Whatnot and what I paid for it. I'm trying to remember, I, I purchased this a while ago and this box has just been sitting waiting for me to open it. I'll start opening this box and kind of tell you what's in here in the story. There should be 12 items in this box. I think that's how much I bought. I bought this a while ago and this has just been sitting around and I've been waiting for a time with that I could film this. So I'm really excited to actually open this box and stop tripping over it. <laughs> but um, I bought, I think it, they were 12 items um, from one auction and these are going to be children's clothing items. Uh, I hopped on whatnot and I joined an auction and there weren't very many people on it and no one was was bidding on the items. I wound up being the only person bidding and buying these things. Okay, I remember this. I'm actually gonna start on the other side of the box because I think I wanna save that item for last. So there weren't very many people on this auction and I wound up being the only bidder on these items. I was the only bidder, I think, for the whole auction. Uh, the, the person running the auction ended up just cutting it off early and I wondered if it's because I was getting things or super low, like a dollar. He started most things at a dollar. So I'll talk a little bit more about this as I pull stuff out here, but I'm just gonna set this over here. All right, so. All right, I got most of the items were Nike and I will put a, a comp up from eBay for what I think I can sell it for as I go through too. Um, these were some, some shorts, uh, size large Nike shorts with pockets in them. Um, let's see, this is the next item here is uh, a different pair of Nike shorts. This is also a size large. I tried to bid on things that were the same sizes so I could lot them together. But yeah, whatnot, I don't think it's doing that dollar shipping anymore. They're adding a little bit more to that after the second item you buy. Uh, so this would have been more expensive if I bought it today, but I, I paid a dollar per item and then it would be plus the shipping, but I had a $10 um, whatnot credit because I used a YouTuber's referral link to sign up. So I got $10 off of all this. So I wound up paying only a only dollar per item. Um, basically, I got the items for free and I just paid for shipping is what it was. So this is an Air Jordan shirt. So again, yeah, not bad, only a dollar an item. I also was interested in the kids clothing because um, here's an identical one. I think they were two different sizes though. Oh yeah, this one's an extra large. So if I can't flip these on eBay for very much money, there is a buy trade sell store nearby that takes kids clothes. Um, this is an Ohio State buddy. Anyone out there an Ohio State fan? I, I'm not from Ohio, I don't know. Okay, and this is a large, but maybe someone who's a fan will buy it. So what I'm learning from what not, okay, and these are the smaller kids clothes. Yeah, there, there's a buy trade sell store near me that will take clothes like this. This is a size four Oshkosh button up. So if it doesn't go for much on eBay, I know I can get my money back locally. And then another little 4T Nike. 
this is just a great sourcing opportunity for me, I think, on whatnot. Uh, if you can find those options where there's not very many people, an identical one but blue. So I guess it's not identical, but <laughs> similar one but in blue. Okay, and then size 4T. And another one. So all the same sizes, so I could lot them together on eBay. And if the comps aren't showing that much, that's what I'll end up doing, I think. But, I don't know, Nike's a good brand. Hopefully they'll just sell. So those are all 4T and then this, this item I was excited about. I haven't looked up comps yet for any of this stuff, um, but I thought it was really cool. And to get it for just a buck was awesome too. So this is a zip up Star Wars Stormtrooper jacket. And I thought that was really cool. I like Star Wars, so. Um, I was excited to see that and thought, okay, well that's gotta be worth something, right? So we'll see, we'll find out together if this is worth anything or not. Can I get my money back? I don't know. Uh, and this was a size 14, large. So yeah, there were not very many people on this auction at all. The guy actually ran through almost all his clothing and then started running through it again because no one was bidding and I thought okay I'll take this opportunity to just try what not out I think I can at least get my money back on these clothes because I have these by trade sell stores near me if not uh, maybe I can make more profit on eBay so I thought I'd give it a try and I started bidding and I started started winning and I made sure to get more than one thing to make the shipping worth it the first item the shipping was only four dollars for me and then it added a dollar for the next item and added a dollar for the next item but I had that ten dollar whatnot credit so it took ten dollars off of all this total so I got this all for a really good deal and I was really lucky that the shipping thing had not changed yet and whatnot when I bought this I'll have to account for that in the future and if you guys also want that ten dollars off I will leave my referral link in the description box below make sure you go check it out if you sign up with whatnot through that referral link you'll get that ten dollar credit or you could use any youtubers referral link really but if you want to support me, that's a great way to support my channel. But yeah, I was winning all the auctions and then all of a sudden the, the one auction ended. Like the guy didn't say bye or anything. And I thought maybe he was upset because his stuff was going for such a low amount. I don't know. Uh, I felt bad, but it's like, well, I got a good deal and he made, hopefully, I mean, he got some money from me, but so I'm, I'm realizing that maybe whatnot is not the best thing for me right now to sell on because I don't have enough inventory for things to just go out the window at a dollar like every penny counts right now and i need my inventory right now for ebay but i definitely see potential and whatnot it's a great place uh, to buy and it's a great place to sell so what did you guys think did i get good stuff was that a good deal tell me tell me in the comments below maybe i made a horrible mistake because i didn't look up any comps before but you kind of get that uh, you get that adrenaline rush for for bidding in an auction and it's like oh i gotta i gotta bid i gotta bid i gotta bid i had to tell myself beforehand like this is my budget i can't go above that and i really recommend that if you, because i'm all about trying to make money not spend money so if you are going on whatnot and you feel that adrenaline rush just before you even open the app tell yourself okay if i'm buying something today first are you going to buy something yes or no and be firm on that answer and then if you're saying yes give yourself a budget and say okay i'm not bidding over this and just don't break that budget there will be other opportunities there will be other good buys and that's kind of the mindset I have to enter whatnot with. Otherwise, it's just too easy to click bid, 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 and the prices go way up. And, and then you'll, you'll wind up paying for an item what you could have resold it for and not making any profit. Even if it's a really good name brand item, you want to have that discipline. If you're doing this for a business, uh, you want to have that discipline when you're purchasing inventory. And I feel the same way. I been trying to teach myself that in thrift stores as well to be picky and to stick to your budget if you want your business to grow so whatnot in sourcing we'll see the numbers here if i can make a profit on any of this stuff but i wanted to give this as an idea of a sourcing option for people who are homebound or they don't have very many thrift stores around them i'm a stay-at-home mom so i'm always looking for those ways to source online and bring things into the home so that i don't have to go out and thrift so will i be buying from whatnot more 
yes, this is a great sourcing opportunity for me. I can do this at home. If you get into auctions where there are a few people bidding, you know, you can get great deals like I did and you can, you could score big time. I've been to other auctions where items don't go for small amounts. They, there are a lot of bidders and goes up and up and they sell for quite a bit. And that makes me want to sell on whatnot. Uh, but right now I don't have the amount of inventory needed to do that. I'm still working on building up eBay and getting inventory. I feel like whatnot is a good place for resellers with an excess amount of inventory who are trying to liquidate some things or get rid of things because you could have things sell for a lot or a little if you're on the selling side and you want to be mindful of that and not lose money, right? So I am interested in selling on whatnot. I want to know, do any of you sell on whatnot currently? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check out what you're selling. Or if you're on the buying end, have you bought anything from whatnot? Was it a good experience? Would you guys be interested in following my journey if I did start learning more about whatnot? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thanks for opening this box with me. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We talk about ways you can make money with the skills and tools you already have. Reselling is one of those ways that I like to do that. So if that's interesting to you, I'd love to have you join my channel and I will catch you in my next video.